Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to use pre-cut Joy insert cards on Makeup or Explore and it's really easy to do. So we've got lots of pre-cut cards for Joy but you might not always want to do them on Joy or you might not have a Joy but you really like the idea of the insert cards. So just to be clear, these are the insert cards, not the cutaway cards. The new cutaway cards for Joy cannot be used in Makeup or Explore, but the original insert cards can. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Images, and I'm going to search Quick Cut Card. So Quick Cut Card, and it will bring me up some templates. So we're going to keep it nice and simple, we're just going to go with this one here and add to canvas. I'm going to ungroup it and get rid of the envelope because I don't need that. And I'm going to change the actual card colour just to a white so that I can see what's going on. So if I look at the size of this, this is set to the standard size insert cards, which are 4.25 by 5.55. You've also got the smaller insert cards and then the larger insert cards as well. It's really easy to change the size. All you're going to do is make sure that both layers are selected, unlock it and you're going to do the total width. So for example if it says 4.25 then it's going to be 8.5 by the height which in this case is 5.5 but if it's a larger one it could be 6.25. I'm going to keep it as it is. Next I'm going to go back into my images and this time I'm going to search for insert card and I'm going to find an insert design that I like. Let's go with this flamingo. So I've got pen and cut. So on the cut I'm actually going to take away these cutaway lines. So all I'm going to do is go to contour and just select those to remove them and then I can size my image up. Now I don't need the insert so I'm going to delete that but I'm going to keep the score line and what I'm actually going to do is duplicate this. Now with that duplicate I don't need the cut but I do need these cuts here so all I'm going to do is go to contour and I'm just going to remove the rectangle so I'm left with my insert cuts and I can get rid of the score line. I'm then going to attach these together. I'm going to bring it over to this one and you'll see that it will line up perfectly. So with this one, what I'm going to do this time is get rid of my image and this I'm going to change from a cut to a draw and I'm just going to attach it together with those score lines. So I've got my card that's set to draw and then I've got my image with my cuts here, my insert cuts, which is draw and pen. So if we go to make it, you can see I've got my card and my image. So my card is where I'm going to place it on my mat. So I'm going to place it at one and one. My image I'm then going to bring over and I'm going to place it directly on top of those insert lines like so. I can then click on the card itself. Remember that on my mat it needs to go at one and one. I can click on the three dots and I can hide my card. So I'm left with just my image with my insert cuts. We can go to continue. Now medium card stock should work fine but I know with my machine I need a little bit more pressure so I'm going to go with heavy card stock. It's going to tell me to put my pen in first, then load my fine point blade. So I've got a standard grip mat and I've got my insert cards. I'm going to open up my insert card and I'm going to set it down at one and one. And I'm going to use a brayer to keep that in place. And it's the exact same method if I want to then add text on the inside. I'm going to use the template in Design Space to place my text. I can then turn my card over 
and add text in if I want the machine to write. So it's exactly the same method. We're going to go with our pen first, so we're going to put that into our A clamp for accessories. I can remove all of the cut pieces and then add my insert. Once my insert's in place, my card is then all finished. And there you go, it's so easy to take pre-made Joy insert cards and use them on your Maker and Explore so you can create cards using the pre-cut ones even if you don't have a Joy. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!